Hey, I'm Prophet Zen, and I'm coming to pray against those that are struggling with um, pornography, you're struggling with lust, you're struggling with sexual immorality, any spirit spouses or anything else. I'm just going to pray according to the word and the will of God, and then just begin to ask the Lord to expose any area in your life, any connection, any ungodly soul tie that need to be broken as you hear this prayer, and just allow him to minister to you, and begin to just break off those things as if you're pulling a ring off your finger. I teach this in um, my deliverance and inner healing session and the Lord has freed so many others like I said but I'm just excited because and it's more in depth than just pulling off stuff because they go through a whole list of everything but I just want to get into praying and meeting it for you guys right now. Heavenly Father in the mighty name of Jesus I cover myself and I cover every individual under the sound of my voice I cover them under the blood of Jesus Lord. I thank you for the deliverance and the healing that is going to go forth. I thank you Lord that you're binding up every demonic assignment demonic demon every form of porn of every form of fornication that has been coming in their mind god you're casting down every lost lustful thought you're casting down every perverted thought you're casting down any thought god that will make them desire anything other than purity holiness and righteousness lord i thank you that you're exposing every tv shows that is allowing their imagination to run wild lord i plead the blood of jesus over their imagination and i ask that their imagination align with the perfect will of god i ask their imagination align with the blood of Jesus, Lord. Let it be cleansed. Let it be pure. Let it be holy, God. Let them no longer desire to masturbate. Let them no longer, God, to watch pornography. Make it bitter in their mouth, God. Make them no longer have a desire for it. Make it no longer to where they're having sex out of marriage. Make it no longer where they're desiring same-sex attraction. And blessed Father, God, even if it's a battle of going, Lord, I, come, I ask in the name of Jesus that the fruit of the Spirit, self-control, be put in place and that they ask for that, God. They pray for that. I pray that the fruit of self-control be that portion. I pray, God, that you will begin to do a new work into their life. I pray that you will begin to help them to understand the ramification, God, of engaging in sexual morality. Lord, I thank you right now that you're revealing every spirit spouse to them, God, every person they have in sexual encounters with, intimate encounters with God that is outside of the will of you, which is marriage. Marriage is your portion, marriage is your design, and marriage is the portion for those, God, that you have desired to call them to walk together, Lord. And we ask in the name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, that you begin to remove this appetite, their sexual appetite. God, their sexual appetite to want to begin to look at a person in the wrong way. God, not being able to keep their eyes to themselves, being able to desire all of those different things. Lord, begin to purify them under the fire. Begin to make them new, God. Begin to help them to see the people, God, as a brother and sister in Christ. Lord, if there's even those that are struggling, God, with pedophilia tendencies, Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, begin to uproot it, God. Begin to bind Bind that spirit of incest. Bind that spirit of molestation and rape that has occurred in a bloodline, God. And as I offer repentance as if it was me, God, for their behalf, Lord, like Daniel has did for the land, Daniel has did for the people and himself, God. I ask that they offer repentance as well and say, Father, forgive me for engaging in sexual immorality. Forgive me for engaging in sex before marriage. Forgive me for engaging in pornography. Forgive me for engaging in lustful behavior, lustful thoughts. Forgive me for having fantasies and dreams. God, I ask in the name of Jesus that you begin to remove these altars that are speaking in their life and expose it, God. I begin to ask that the earth swallow up these altars that are demonic in their lives, Lord, and that, that you will put around ramifications in place. I mean, boundaries in place for those ramifications, God. You will put boundaries in place so that it may be whole, they may be new, and they may be redeemed. Lord, I thank you that they're covered under the blood of Jesus. I thank you that they've been made new. I thank you that they've been made whole. I thank you that they've been covered under the blood of Jesus. God, begin to consecrate their mind, consecrate their body from the crown of their heads to the sole of their feet. Begin to do a new thing in their lives, Lord. So I give glory, I give honor, I give praise all in what you do and I thank you I thank you I thank you as our Lord our Savior I thank you that you are Redeemer God I thank you that their body is dedicated to you their body is no longer their own it belongs to the Holy Spirit it is the temple of the Holy Spirit it is the temple of the living God it is the temple of Jesus our Lord and Savior God it is the temple God that will no longer desire to be torn apart there will no longer be prostitution whoredom but there will be one that is a holy consecrated vessel unto you God they will be set apart it doesn't matter what they did it doesn't matter how many women or men they've been with, how many partners they've been with, how many people. It does not matter, God. I break off shame from their sexual acts. 
I break off shame, guilt, and condemnation. If there was rape in their sexual acts, God, if there was molestation, if there was incest, if there was any of those things, God, that has plagued them, if there was trauma, God, to where their things, where their innocence was taken, and the Father began to realign their fragmented soul, God, into what you have called it to be and not where there's being torment, why they're not where there's being confusion, not where there's being doubt, God, even if they're struggling with their sexuality, their agenda, God, call it back forth in alignment to what it was before, God, you have formed them even in their mother's womb, and I pray and break off rejection, God, and abandonment that was birthed within the womb, God, that then began to say, I hate the type of person I am, that I'm a woman, although that person says I'm a man, I feel like I'm a, I'm a man, but I'm actually a woman, so God began to deal with those sexual appetite, and I command God that you begin to take authority in the realm of the spirit and that you just purify their place. Purify it, God. I, I ask by the blood of Jesus that it is cleansed. I apply it. That is cleansed. It is cleansed. It is cleansed. By the blood of Jesus, they are cleansed. You're cleaning them from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. You're cleansing their appetite. You're cleansing their home. You're cleansing their environment. You're cleansing them, God. And begin to allow them to throw out all DVDs, anything, God. They're allowing them to delete their social media accounts or delete, throw their phones away, throw their computers away. Whatever they got to do, God, allow them to go to the extreme to be aggressive with their deliverance of getting free from masturbation, from lust, from pornography, all those things that would equate to sexual immorality. And Lord, I thank you that you are revealing every spirit spouse and every spirit spouse could be a cousin, it could be a friend, any person you've been with that you did things that are not of God. And God will reveal it and don't come up in the shame if it was a family member, my cousin, because people didn't play the house when they were growing up. So these are the things that comes up, the Lord says. These are the things that you got to deal with that you begin to say, Lord, I come out of agreement with Jimmy, whoever it is, and then you break it off and say, and all the people they've been with, when you begin to do that, there's going to just be a release over you and begin to fill yourself up with the word. So Lord, I fill them up by the blood of Jesus. I filled them up, God, that they will watch holy things, that they will watch pure things that will keep their ears, their ears and their eye gates covered in the name of Jesus. So, God, I cover each and every one of your sons and daughter by the blood of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, for your word that is going to send forth and that they're going to have an appetite for Jesus. The blood, God, that was shed on Calvary, they're going to have an appetite for the Holy Spirit to dwell within them. And I, but they're going to have an appetite to love you as a father and be loved by you as a father in Jesus name. Amen. Y'all have a good day, good evening, wherever you're watching it. I just wanted to pray that over you. I love you guys.